Welcome back to our fitness channel where we're trying to fit this. Today we're diving into the topic of exercise and its effects on our blood. Have you ever wondered what happens to your blood when you engage in physical activity? Well, I'm here to answer the question. So when you exercise, your body undergoes a series of remarkable transformations. One significant change occurs within your blood as it adapts to meet the demands of your active muscles. So let's break it down and explore the substances released into the bloodstream during exercise. During exercise, your muscles require more oxygen to generate energy. To meet this demand, your body increases the rate of oxygen delivery to working muscles. This is accomplished through the release of hormones like adrenaline and neuroadrenaline, which trigger a cascade of different events. So first, your heart rate and stroke volume increases, leading to greater volume of blood being pumped with each heartbeat. Second, the blood vessels in your muscles dilate, allowing for more blood flow and delivering more oxygen to the working cells. Third, your body releases more red blood cells, hemoglobin, to carry oxygen through your system. As your muscles utilize oxygen, they produce carbon dioxide, a waste product. The CO2 needs to be removed from the muscles and transported back to the lungs for exhalation. So, during exercise, your blood picks up the carbon dioxide and carries it away. This increases the breathing rate you experience during exercise and helps expel this waste gas efficiently. So next up, we have a buildup of lactic acid. When your muscles work intensely, they rely on a process called anaerobic metabolism, which doesn't require oxygen. This process produces lactic acid though, as a byproduct. Initially, lactic acid may accumulate in the muscles, leading to fatigue and discomfort. However, the blood plays a crucial role in removing this lactic acid from the muscle tissue and transporting it back to the liver, where it can be broken down and converted back into energy sources. Now, exercise also triggers the release of endorphins, which are neurotransmitters that act as natural painkillers and mood boosters. These endorphins are released into the bloodstream and can have a positive impact on your overall well-being, reducing stress and promoting a sense of euphoria or sometimes also called the runner's high. Beta endorphins, for instance, exercise can stimulate the release of beta endorphins, which are the most potent endorphins as far as I know. They bind to opiate receptors in the brain, reducing pain and pain perception and promoting a sense of euphoria. Ankyphalins, I hope I didn't butcher that, are another type of endorphins that can be released during exercise. Like beta endorphins, they help alleviate pain and enhance the mood. Dynorphins are a class of endorphins that are released in response to stress and pain, which exercise usually is. They are involved in regulating mood and emotion. But it's important to note that while exercise can stimulate the release of endorphins, the exact mechanism and specific types of endorphins involved may vary depending on factors such as the intensity and duration of the exercise, individual physiology, and other environmental or genetic factors. Nevertheless, the overall effect of endorphins released during exercise has a positive impact on mood, pain perception, and overall well-being. So why do these changes happen, you ask? Well, it's very simple. They happen because you're absolutely incredible and your body's an insane biological machine that writes adaptability in capital letters. The human body is incredibly adaptive and these physiological and chemical changes occur to optimize the performance and ensure the efficient functioning of our muscles. As to how we adapt, we've talked about progressive overload multiple times, so go check that out here. And we'll also talk about hypertrophy, go check that out here. So, we've learned that exercise triggers the release of hormones like adrenaline and neuroadrenaline, which increase the heart rate, dilate the blood vessels to deliver more oxygen to working muscles. Additionally, carbon dioxide, CO2, and lactic acid are efficiently transported away from the muscle while endorphins are released to enhance your mood. So, regular exercise offers a plethora of benefits beyond this blood-related changes. And we talk about the benefits all the time. Stay active, stay healthy, and keep exploring your own body because I am sure there are still many things about it that will blow your mind because I know I still find stuff like that every single day. Guys, don't forget to like the video if you like the video and subscribe to the channel. It really, really helps me out a lot and we got new videos every single day. Captain Cairo, peace out. <laughs>